What happens if a tiger suddenly finds itself in the Amazon rainforest? Tigers are one of the largest land predators on the planet, the biggest of the big cats. It is an unmatched predator. Wherever they live, they rule there. But if we took it from its natural habitat and introduced it to the extreme environment of the Amazon rainforest, will it thrive in the new environment or will it be no match for the mysterious environment? The tiger. First, let's take a look at what kind of beast we are dealing with before moving it to the Amazon. Knowing what it is, where does it live, and how does it live, will help us for a smooth migration. The tiger is the biggest of the big cats, perhaps the biggest solitary predator living in the land. An adult tiger can grow up to 660 pounds or 300 kilograms in weight, measuring up to three meters in length. Tigers have distinctive orange fur with black stripes, the exact pattern can vary among the subspecies. They are ambush predators. Their striped coat allows them to blend with the tall grass and bushy forest fields they inhabit. They approach their prey silently. When the prey is in its striking distance, typically within six to 10 meters, it launches a quick strike with sprinting speeds up to 40 miles per hour. With a bite force of 1,050 pounds per square inch, they aim for the neck or the throat of their prey often suffocating the animal or breaking its spinal cord. They are mostly active in the night. The darkness of the night provides additional cover for their ambushing, and the night helps them to avoid the heat of the day. When talking about heat, they often enter water to cool off. Their love of the water is unique among big cats. Unlike other big cats who try to avoid water, tigers are excellent swimmers. They have webbed paws that are well adapted for swimming. They can swim up to four miles in a single swim. Tigers' Habitats versus Amazon Tigers roam a relatively diverse range of habitats. Their habitats are widely spread in South and Southeast Asia, from India to China and Russia, and also down to Singapore. They roam in various environments, including tropical rainforests, temperate forests, mangrove swamps, and also grassland and savannas. Their ambush hunting style, combined with its love of water, keeps it mostly near water with dense forests. They live in a wide range of locations, especially compared to other species of big cats. Compare this to the range of jaguars from the southern United States through Central America and South America to Northern Argentina. It clearly shows how tigers can adapt and thrive in various climate conditions. The Amazon climate is not going to be a challenge for our visitor. A watery, dense tropical rainforest is almost the ideal home for a tiger. It may feel a little weird for a day or two, but that's all. But the real problem is, will it be able to hunt enough food for survival? Tiger's diet versus Amazon cuisine. The tiger is a huge creature. It needs a lot of food. Will it be able to find enough food in the Amazon? What does it eat before coming to the Amazon? Tigers are mostly interested in large prey animals. One big kill keeps them full for a week. In Asia, they mainly prey on various kinds of deer, wild boar, various kinds of antelope, and also large herbivores like baffles, gar, and wild bison. The Amazon is not in a shortage of big prey animals. Deer species like Amazon brown brocket deer, wild pigs, tapirs, capybaras, anteaters, primates like howler monkeys, and spider monkeys are on the menu for the tiger. And luckily, tigers are not that picky when they are desperate to eat. They will happily feast on any small mammals if they are starving. They will only find the taste of their food to be a little different, but tigers will only taste it if the competition allows it to hunt over them. Tiger versus Amazon predators. The prey animals we talked about earlier are not roaming freely in the Amazon. There are a lot of predators looking to hunt them. The jaguar is the main big cat that rules the Amazon, and it will not be so happy to see its big cousin at home. Jaguars have been with Amazon for two million years, co-evolving with it. Surely it knows a trick or two about hunting and surviving in the Amazon over tigers. But a jaguar has no chance to fight with a tiger. All the martial arts in the world are not going to save Jaguar from a tiger in one-to-one -one combat. The jaguar may be a better hunter in the Amazon, but the tiger can chase away the jaguar and steal its catch. And with the high biodiversity in the Amazon and tigers' high adaptability to new environments, 
It will not be that hard for tigers to hunt and thrive there. The green anaconda can be a worthy opponent, but it's more likely to continue its mutual respect with jaguars, also with tigers, respectfully ignoring each other in rare encounters, at least on the land. But the water will not welcome tigers the same as the land. The tiger's love for the water will introduce it to deadly creatures it never imagined. The jaguar is a true master of aquatic environments. Its muscular build and powerful jaws make it excellent at ambushing prey like fish, caimans, and turtles in water. Tiger is also a great swimmer, but they mostly use water to cool off and travel. It is not that powerful in the water like a jaguar, but the waters of the Amazon are home to a lot of creatures that might see a swimming tiger as prey. The black caiman is a powerful crocodilian reptile that inhabits the waters of the Amazon. The tigers are known to hunt crocodiles sometimes, but that is not a one-sided fight by any means. Apart from them, the anaconda is way stronger in water and it may not see a swimming tiger as a threat. The piranha is a small fish, but it has sharp teeth and a powerful bite. They act in groups and are known to eat the flesh out of the bones of anything on water. The electric eel, the Amazon River dolphin, and sharks that inhabit the waters of the Amazon will not make swimming a pleasure for the visitor. The final challenge. The water is not the same thing it used to be for the tiger, but the tiger is still a tiger, a dangerous beast that no one wants to provoke unnecessarily. Even the monsters living in the Amazon waters are looking for the easiest meal. The tiger will be their last choice. However, it is still a pretty good idea to avoid the waters unless necessary for the tiger. If it did so, they have a pretty good chance of replacing the jaguar from the land apex predator position and becoming the new ruler of the Amazon. But there is one fundamental rule in nature that prevents animals from suddenly changing their location. The parasites and diseases. The tiger will encounter ticks, fleas and mites, leeches, and internal parasites like worms that it has never met before and hasn't built any immunity against. They could potentially be deadly for this newcomer. The diseases can go both ways. Tigers can bring diseases that could have devastating effects on local wildlife. Or similarly, tigers can be infected with deadly diseases from local animals. The introduction of tigers could disrupt the ecological balance of the Amazon and could create irreversible changes. So finally, it is not a great idea to bring them there. So with all that, what do you think are the odds of tigers ruling the Amazon? Will they be destroyed by parasites or diseases from the Amazon? Will it be safe in the water? Comment down your thoughts and stay subscribed for another great video.